In this session, we're going to have a look at how we can actually program a claw to open and close. So let's get underway. So one of the first things we're going to do is go into a new project. And the claw is actually built with a medium motor. And we'll start by putting that out on the stage. Now what we want to be able to do is test this. So before I get too carried away, I make sure that A, I've selected the correct port. In this case, it's plugged into port A. And also, it's running at a speed of 75, but it's only going to do one rotation. So it's a really good idea that you test on one rotation rather than doing it for a duration of time. And hit play. You should notice, in my case, the claw will actually start to open up. So I know that 75 is going to open the claw, and therefore, if I go down to negative 75, it will close the claw. So I'm just going to put negative 7, 5, and you notice that the bars jump straight down there for me. So when I play this, the claw will now close. Now we need to work out how many rotations. So I've done a little bit of experimenting before, but I normally start at 1 and see how far it moves, and then go maybe to 3, and then maybe 4 or 5 or 6. But you want to make sure, because it's a claw closing, you don't want to go too far where the claws are actually closing in on themselves and then trying to force themselves even tighter together because what will actually happen is the claws will actually jump off or you'll break the Lego or it start deconstructing your robot. So just start with small increments first. You know that minus 75 will close, positive 75 will open. So make sure that you open and close them while you're testing. I've worked out that five rotations is the best one for my robot to close from open wide to close to the center and then we can reverse that process so minus 75 five rotations on my robot will close the claw and then if I want to open the claw I can change this then to positive 75 and the claw will open now once we've done that we can then start saving the blocks so the last one I put in there was the open claw so I'm going to highlight just this block here and I'm going to go up to tools and my block builder and what I'm going to do in here is actually put in a block name for that block I just made which will be open claw and then I, if I ever want to open the claw I just grab this block now you've got different um, icons in here at the moment so you can pick the one you want to use so I'm actually going to use the of the small motor so I can see that it's there and I'm just going to click on finish now under my programming blocks right on the end you'll notice I've actually got the block there. On top of that, it's even got open claw. So we now have an open claw. So let's now create a closed claw. Now to do that, I'm gonna go back to the start again. I'm gonna delete this block. I'm gonna drag a new one out of the medium motor, change it to negative 75. Now remember the 75's got to do with speed. So sometimes you want the claw to open quickly, you'll go to 100, or if you need it to go slower, you can drop it down. And we know that it's five rotations. Now I'm gonna add this to my list. So this is gonna be the closed claw. So once again, I'll highlight just that one block, go up to tools, my block builder, select the small motor, and I'm gonna put closed claw and add that to finish. So now my block builder, I have a closed claw, an open claw. So let's go back to my main program, delete this. So the first thing I want to do is close the claw. So put that one up. And then I want to open the claw. So when my program runs now, I get the result that I'm after. And anytime I want to open or close the claw, I can select the block out now, and I know that works well for the claw that I've designed. So this is a really good way of actually grouping modules of code together and making your own functions.